24M, a US-based battery company who have just been able to commercialize a semi-solid state battery with a staggering energy density that is now currently in production in America. They say their new battery packs will give an electric car 1,000 miles of range. Now, this actually sounds ridiculous. When I first read that headline, I was skeptical. I thought, really? Come on. Then I saw the energy density of these batteries. And 24M are not lying. You could probably put a 100 kilowatt hour pack, so not an overly large battery pack, in something like a Tesla Model 3 if it was manufactured by this company, and it would likely give a Model 3 1,000 miles of range. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is really amazing technology, but let's just get straight to it. Let's cut out all the crap. There's a whole bunch of crap being reported by the media. It's all great stuff, but it's sort of, you want to know the facts, right? Let's get to the straight of the numbers. Early test results of these batteries, right? They are lithium metal semi-solid state batteries that have been manufactured now for a few years, but now this is like a, a Gen 2 improved version. They use an eternal light electrolyte, which apparently is able to solve the dendrite problems of solid state batteries. It has led to huge improvements in cycle life and rate capability for lithium metal batteries with unmatched cycle stability. So the battery packs now are gonna last a long time. Previous ones weren't lasting that long. Huge improvement in Gen 2. But the other improvement in Gen 2 is higher energy density. For a lithium metal cell cycling at 1C discharge, 1C charge, 24M eternal light batteries allow the cells, electrolyte allows the cell to retain 83% capacity after 500 cycles. So if you fast charge your battery um, five, more than 500 times, you're likely to have around 83% in terms of its battery health after 500 plus cycles. That's not industry leading. Lithium iron phosphate is definitely a bit better, a fair bit, in fact, a lot better than that. It's still pretty good though. That is equivalent to more than 500,000 miles of total driving. So after you've driven 500,000 miles, you're still gonna have 83% battery capacity. Theoretically, now this has not been tested in an electric car yet. Hopefully that'll happen soon. This would allow up to 1,000 miles per charge considering the energy density of the battery pack is 391 watts per kilogram. 391 watts per kilogram is really, really good, but what we really wanna know is what's the pack level. The pack level energy density is far more important than cell density because some cells just can't be packaged very well into a package, so you find that the actual Cell energy density, it could be say 350. You find that in a pack, it might be only 200 because of the way they're packaged. But you can package these cells very efficiently. So the pack level is 350 watts per kilogram, which is 665 watts per liter. Pack level energy density, meaning energy density is approximately double of where lithium ternary batteries, so say 2170, 4680 cells from Tesla, for example, it's about double what they're at. That is very high energy density. You can see why they're saying you can get a thousand miles of range. Now, of course, this would depend on the battery pack size because realistically, you can get a thousand miles of range out of any battery. If you just get to put a bigger and bigger battery pack, put a massive battery pack. I mean, it's Tesla Cybertruck, for example. Uh, you can get that extra battery pack for 16,000. Maybe if you tripled the size of that battery pack, you could get 1,000 miles of range, right? Yeah, that's not really real world here. What I believe here, though, is you can put a real world size battery pack as something that's commercially viable. But are you going to do this? No, you're not going to do this. Who on earth needs 1,000 miles of range? There is no internal combustion car manufactured worldwide. And there never has been uh, commercially on a commercial scale with 1,000 miles of range. It's ridiculous. You don't need that, right? The most you could ever possibly need would be, say, 600 miles of range. And that's the thing. This battery pack, 600 miles of range, maybe you're looking at, say, a 60 kilowatt hour size pack. That is incredible. This is the point in which we see electric aeroplanes. I'm talking jumbo jets i'm talking you know big 747s becoming commercially viable there are companies now in europe saying that as a result of these batteries 
electric airplanes are completely possible. Not even possible, but they are just completely feasible. They now just need more funding to start building them. So this 24M electrolyte is clearly huge. It's the future of the EV industry. I don't understand why companies, say for example, Porsche, uh, you know, Ferrari, these companies where people are willing to pay two, three, four hundred thousand dollars for a supercar. I mean, these companies, Ferrari, for example, are saying, oh, you know, we're not quite there yet. Lamborghini is saying the same thing in terms of having electric supercars with lightweight batteries. You could absolutely make an electric supercar. Right? Supercars, internal combustion engine supercars, they only usually have around 300 miles of range maximum. Maximum. I mean, have a look at some of the tests done by massive car magazines. They're getting about 200 miles of range out of a supercar. If you put in, say, 300 miles of range in a supercar, the battery you would need from 24M would be very, very small. You could easily make a very, very lightweight electric supercar with incredible performance using this battery technology, which is, well, really from MIT. Now, the founder of this company, 24M, he's from the laboratory in MIT. So this is truly kind of an, really an American innovation. And there are some battery companies in the US doing some amazing things. Are they making affordable lithium ion phosphate batteries like CATL and BYD? No. Are they making incredible next generation technology like this? They are. Could this be the future of the EV industry? Probably not. But will it play a part in the future? Absolutely. It'll play a part in the high end EVs. For example, if you were to buy, say, an expensive electric car, say $80,000 plus, this is the kind of technology you'd want to have in that car. And I don't see why that won't happen. I believe it will. Thanks for watching.